Hi, I'm Madeline Caba. I'm Alekia Boca, and we're comparing the effects of whole body movement based interventions delivered either face to face or via telehealth on imitation and praxis skills in children with autism spectrum disorder. The study reports effects of a multi site randomized controlled trial that includes 45 children between 5 and 14 years that lasted 10 weeks, with 8 weeks of training. The study compared the effects of three types of interventions, namely creative movement, including music, dance, and yoga, general movement like strength and endurance, and standard of care seated play focused on fine motor and academic skills. During the pandemic, we shifted to virtual intervention delivery, so we also compared telehealth to -to face-to-face modes. We assessed training-related changes in children's imitation and praxis skills using the two subtests of the sensory integration and praxis test, namely the bilateral motor coordination and the postural praxis subtest conducted at pre to post. Video data from these tests were coded to assess accuracy of movement imitation, specifically in spatial and temporal aspects of motor performance. For example, did the child follow the tester's rhythm in the SIPT BMC, or did they move their joints accurately for the SIPT PP? It was found that all three groups showed significant improvement from pre- to post-test. This makes sense since all groups received imitation-based training. When we look at individual data, we see that the trends are similar across both subgroups. There was no statistically significant difference in mean percent error rejection between telehealth and face-to-face. Overall, only the creative movement group showed significant reduction in errors in rhythm imitation pre- to post When looking at individual data from this group, we can see greater improvement in the telehealth group, but it is not statistically significant. This suggests that the telehealth approach is an effective means of delivering music and movement-based activities. Conventional autism interventions don't address gross motor impairments in children with ASD. Our significant findings call for the inclusion of whole body movement activities within the standard of care treatment for ASD. Since there were no significant differences in results across face-to-face and telehealth modes, telehealth may be a viable and feasible mode to deliver movement interventions, especially for families that lack access to -to face-to-face care.